A data bar is a type of conditional formatting that creates a visual effect in the cells that correspond to the contents of the cell. A cell with a longer bar represents a larger value, while a cell with a shorter bar represents a smaller value. This is a helpful format to use when trying to compare cells quickly because you can tell the difference visually. For example, to identify top scores, use data bars. Select the range of cells. On the Home tab in the Styles group, click on Conditional Formatting. Select Data Bars and select a style, Gradient Fill or Solid Fill and color you want. For example, for Gradient Fill, Blue Data Bars select Blue under Gradient Fill. By default, the cell that holds the maximum value 99 has a data bar that fills the entire cell. All other cells are filled proportionally. Change the values. Excel updates the data bars automatically. To make the differences among the bars more noticeable, make the column wider. Show only bars without numbers. You can show only the bars and hide the numbers in the cell. Select any of the formatted cells and click on Conditional Formatting. Select Manage Rules. Select the rule and click on Edit. In the Formatting Rule dialog box, select the Show Bar Only checkbox. Click on OK. Click on OK to apply the rule and close the window. Now only data bars are displayed without numbers. Data Bar Fill Types There are two bar styles in Excel, Gradient Fill and Solid Fill. Use Gradient Fill when both data bars and values are displayed. Lighter colors at the end of the bars make it easier to read the numbers. Solid fill is better to be used if only the bars are visible and the values are hidden. Custom data bars. If you don't like any of the preset bars, you can create a custom rule with your own data bar style. Select the cells where you want to apply data bars. Click on conditional formatting and select data bars and then more rules. New formatting rule dialog box opens. Here you can customize the data bars. Customize the bar appearance. In the bar appearance section, select a fill in the fill drop down. To select a color, click on the color drop down and select a color. For more colors, click on more colors, pick a color. If you want to display a border, select solid border in the border drop down and select a color for the border. Select the bar direction. Context. The bars will follow the direction set for the worksheet. If the direction of the data bars is left to right or to right to left, they will remain that way even if you change the direction of the worksheet. Select right to left. The preview section shows the preview of the bar appearance. Click on OK. The custom data bar is added to the data. Define minimum and maximum values for data bars. When applying preset data bars, the minimum and maximum values are set automatically by Excel. Instead, you can decide how to calculate these values. You can set these values while creating a new rule or editing a preset rule. For example, let us edit the existing rule. Click on Conditional Formatting and select Manage Rules. In the list of rules, select the data bar rule and click on Edit. In the Rule dialog window, under the Edit the Rule description section, choose the options you want for minimum and maximum values. For example, set data bar percent with the minimum value equal to 25% and the maximum value equal to 75%. Click on OK. Click on OK to apply the rule. For all the scores below 25%, there will be no bar. For all scores above 75%, the bars will occupy the whole cell. Data bar minimum and maximum values based on formulas. Instead of entering values, you can calculate the min and max values using a formula. Select the data set and click on conditional formatting. Select data bars and then select more rules. Select formula in the type drop downs. For the minimum value, use this formula, which sets the minimum value 5% below the lowest value in the range. 
This will display a tiny bar for the lowest cell. For the maximum value, use this formula, which sets the maximum value 5% above the highest value in the range. This will add a small space at the end of the bar. Click on OK to apply the rule. The lowest value has a tiny bar. For the highest value, there is a tiny space at the end of the bar. Data bars based on another cell value. Sometimes while using data bars, the colors selected might make the values hard to read. In this case, we can apply data bars based on a value in a different cell. Copy the original values in an empty column where you want the bars to appear. To keep the copied values linked to the original data, use a formula. The numbers are in column D. Enter equal to D2 in E2. Copy the formula down to the other cells. Add data bars to the column where you copied the values. Select the cells and open the new formatting rule window. Check the show bar only checkbox to hide the numbers. Now we have the values in column D and data bars in column E. Data bars for negative values. Excel data bars work for negative numbers as well. To apply different bar colors for positive and negative numbers, select the cells you want to format. Click on conditional formatting and data bars and select more rules. In the new formatting rule window, under bar appearance, choose the color for positive data bars. Click on the negative value and access button. In the negative value and access settings dialog box, pick the fill and border colors for negative values. If you want the same color bars for positive and negative values, select apply same fill color as positive bar. Select the axis position and color in axis settings. Select cell midpoint, select the axis color. Click on OK. Click on OK. Bars for positive values are displayed to the right and negative values to the left with the axis in the center. Invisible axis. You can make the axis invisible. Select any formatted cell and click on conditional formatting. Select the rule and click on edit rule. Click on negative values and axis. Select white for axis color. Click on OK in all three windows. Now the bars are displayed without the axis. Bars for positive and negative values can be displayed in the same direction. Go to negative value and axis settings. Select none for axis position. Now bars for positive and negative value bars are displayed in the same direction with a different color. To download practice Excel file, please click on the link in the description. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel.